Now I'm going to teach some of you uh, how to make paneer, which is the fresh cheese. This milk has already been skimmed, or you can make it with full fat milk. It's boiling, so you turn off the flame once it's boiled, and I have some limes here that I've cut. And lime is a better substance to curdle the milk because your body can handle the acidity, whereas lemon uh, is less uh, tolerable to the body. So we use limes. So you take a lime, and I have one of these lime squeezers. And this is one gallon of milk. It approximately takes two to three limes based on how juicy your limes are. So here we go, we're squeezing as much juice as we can out of the limes. And I'm going to put two limes first, and then I will stir it. And take note that the flame is turned off. You do not want to have the flame on because you do not want to cook the lime in the milk. So now I stir the milk. And as you can see, it needs more lime juice. So I will proceed. See, I'm on my third lime. It's starting to become, you can see the whey and the curd. It's starting to form into paneer. This is my third lime. Let's see if that does the trick. I think it is. So this paneer took three limes. So now you have paneer. Now it's very important to note that you don't want to like leave this on in the lime juice for very long. What I do, I immediately I have a colander in the sink and ready to pour this paneer into. So let's proceed to that. So I have a very uh, nice bag. It's an uh, organic cotton muslin bag. You can use any type of cloth. But I like this bag because it keeps everything in shape. It keeps it all in one place and it doesn't move around. But you can use just a plain cheesecloth if you'd like. So I have my colander and it's ready to go. And we are now going to pour the paneer into the cloth bag. And here we go.